Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how your energy levels change throughout your cycle. If you're like me, you probably noticed that your energy levels fluctuate throughout your entire cycle. They can go like up pretty high, then they can kind of come down. And if you're not aware of how your hormones can impact your energy levels, it can kind of be annoying to say the least. Having fluctuating energy levels is just like a normal human being thing to have. And it's totally normal to have days where you're super high energy and days where you're not super high energy. And oftentimes those days will correlate to different phases of your cycle and different hormone fluctuations. How your energy levels are in your cycle is going to be like pretty unique to you. Yeah, of course hormones like affect us and stuff like that. But I'm talking in like a very broad sense of things right now. Um, but the more that you track your cycle, the more that you'll get to know your body and your cycle um, and how you feel and so. Let's get into it. Let me explain what I'm talking about. So the menstrual phase is when you have your period. And this is the time in your cycle when both your estrogen and your progesterone levels are very, very low. You don't got a lot going on. And so in this phase, you're probably feeling that. You're probably feeling a little bit tired, a little bit sluggish, especially if you're dealing with any pain or anything like that. Some people actually find that in this phase of their cycle, they actually feel a little bit more active and they might have a little bit more energy. And oftentimes that's because their PMS symptoms have resolved. And so they're just like, feeling really good. So some people find that they have a little bit more energy in their menstrual phase than others. So it kind of just depends on how your menstrual phase affects you. If you're in pain and not feeling your best, then you're probably not gonna have a lot of energy. But on the flip side, if you feel that it's kind of um, a breath of fresh air when you get your period and your PMS symptoms resolve and you're just feeling a little bit better, you might have more energy. And so that's something to take note of. Like, how do you feel when you have your period? Do you have more energy? Do you have less energy? Like, how do you manage that? And this is something that's super great to track if you track your cycle because this lets you know kind of um, what's normal for you. I will say though, if you do have a lot of energy in your menstrual phase, just be careful about overdoing it because if you have a lot of energy in your menstrual phase and you're feeling like you want to do all the things, you could potentially create this issue where you kind of burn out towards ovulation. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the ovulatory phase, but I just want to let you know that if you do feel like you burn out in the middle of your cycle, it could be maybe because you're doing too much in your menstrual phase. It's just something to think about. So once you move from your menstrual phase, you move into your pre-ovulatory phase. And this phase is really special because this is when your estrogen starts to rise and with this phase you're probably feeling like yourself again you're probably feeling really good probably a lot higher energy than maybe you were experiencing in your menstrual phase and that's because when you have high estrogen levels estrogen actually kind of makes you feel really good okay I'm just gonna say it estrogen amazing such a great hormone does us so good but it actually helps like boost our energy levels so when you have this like rising estrogen that's when your energy levels will start to rise and you'll start to feel like yeah i'm ready to do all the things. So over the days in your pre-ovulatory phase, as your estrogen rises and rises and rises, you're probably gonna be feeling super energized. And then you move into your ovulatory phase. Ooh girl, this is when your estrogen is super high. It actually peaks during your ovulatory phase. And this is also when other hormones in your body are high as well, like LH, as well as a little bit of testosterone because we all have testosterone in our bodies and it kind of gets a little bit of a bump during ovulation. So all of these factors combined, they make us feel good. <laughs> so you probably have really high energy in this phase. And that's because you're estrogen is super high, all your hormones are just doing their thing, you're just feeling really really good. And this is a great time in your cycle to plan for doing activities that take a little bit more of your energy up. The one thing that some people notice during ovulation, and I've noticed this in myself as well, is that you might feel a little bit tired after ovulation. So you'll notice in this little graph that after ovulation, when you're still in your ovulatory phase, you will have a little bit of a dip in estrogen levels as progesterone starts to take over. So this dip could potentially make you feel a little bit tired. You might have a day or two where you're just like, what happened? Like, I have a little bit of a dip in energy. This could also possibly affect your mood as well. And so this dip is normal. This is like what your hormones are doing. But it's important to know that this dip in estrogen levels does happen um, after ovulation happens because then you can like plan accordingly and especially if it really affects you. And I know for me, I used to really feel that dip pretty hard. And then as soon as I started to dive deeper into my cycle and realize what was 
going on, I was able to support myself better and kind of like prepare for that to happen. The other thing that could potentially make you feel a little bit more run down and tired in your ovulatory phase is if you're doing too much at menstruation. So, you know, don't take my word for it. Just like experiment in your own cycle. Rest a little bit more during menstruation and see how you feel during ovulation. It might help. So after your ovulatory phase, you then move into your luteal phase or I mean, I usually like to call this your like premenstrual phase because it's really the days leading up to your menstrual phase. So as you can see in this graph, estrogen is usually kind of lower in this phase while progesterone is super high. And you have a little bit of a resurgence of estrogen um, in your premenstrual phase, but it doesn't really get that high and progesterone just stays progressively higher until they both drop and then that drop in hormones actually triggers uh, menstruation. Depending on how you respond to your premenstrual phase, you may feel like your energy levels are pretty stable and you might feel like pretty good. Some people in their premenstrual phase really enjoy this time of their cycle because their energy levels seem to be a little bit more stable. And depending on if they experience any PMS symptoms or not, this phase is actually like maybe really enjoyable for them. Some people, not so much. This is a phase when you do have um, fluctuating hormone levels. So estrogen fluctuates a little bit as progesterone climbs higher and that can affect your energy levels. You might feel less motivated. You might feel a little bit more fatigued, especially as you get closer to your period. It kind of just depends on how you've experienced your entire cycle and what you've been doing and how you've been supporting yourself on how you're going to feel in this phase. I know for me, my energy levels are pretty good in my premenstrual phase. I find that it kind of like affects maybe my mood a little bit more than my energy levels. I'm maybe a little bit more irritable, <laughs> but my energy levels are pretty good. And I actually find that my energy is pretty good up until maybe a day or two before my period when I start to notice that I'm feeling a little bit more tired. That's kind of my experience, but I'd love to hear about your experience because the premenstrual phase is a very interesting phase for a lot of people. We have different hormone levels, you know, people are sensitive to them, maybe not. There's premenstrual symptoms going on. Some people experience them um, really intensely, some people don't. So the premenstrual phase is kind of one of those phases that um, I think affects people very differently. But I just want to say it's totally normal if you find that your energy levels are just like not the best Best, but not also terrible in your premenstrual phase, if that makes sense. So there you have it. That is how your energy levels may fluctuate during your cycle. I love making these videos because I think it's so important to understand how our cycle can impact how we feel. It can impact so many things in our life. And the more that we get to know our own bodies and our own unique cycles, the better, because then we can support ourselves and live in alignment with what's going on in our bodies, which helps support us in living our best lives possible. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, your cycle matters so, so much and I'm here for you and I'll see you in the next video.